Hi folks, Mr. Mixdash. And we're out here on this beautiful day and it's time for America's favorite video quiz challenge. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, folks. I am Mr. McStash, and this is something we do on here called Oh You Didn't Know. Um, so I'm going to give you some random facts that you may or may not have known. I dig very deep for these, so the chances are you probably don't know them. Oh, you didn't know? myself uh bikes beards and brews just went there and drank his way around the world for i don't know whatever you know whatever floats your boat but there's a place in he's standing in the middle of the road there is a place in uh florida <laughs> so i told you i've never been there it's called disneyland underneath disneyland there are miles and miles and miles of tunnels. Why are there tunnels under Disneyland, you may say? Well, what good would it be to be in future land and see, or tomorrow land, or whatever it's called, and see a guy from the Old West? It won't work. So they built tunnels underneath the uh, park there so that all the characters could get from land to land without seeing the wrong character in the wrong land. So, ah, how about that? There are tunnels all underneath of Disneyland. This is probably stuff you didn't know. Number two. Oh, you didn't know? This one is for Nona Grace. Nona Grace, if you have not checked out her channel, I'll put me a link up here. Put it in and down in the description. If you have not checked out her channel, she does talks every day. Just, you know, whatnot talks, uh, motivational talks, what I call. She's an old school teacher. My wife's a school teacher. So maybe that's why I like her so much. Or I don't think so, though. I think it's just because Nona Grace is an awesome person. But. Oh, you didn't know? You can tell if an egg, a chicken egg, that's why I'm doing Nona Grace, because she has chicken. But you can tell if a chicken egg is good or not by sticking it in water. Yes, folks, that is correct. If you have a glass of water and you put an egg in it and it floats, don't crack that egg. No, no, not a good idea. If it sinks to the bottom, it's good. Um, the buoyancy of an egg is determined by the edge of the age of the egg. Now, if I had to venture a guess, I would say it would have something to do with the porous material of the eggshell, but I don't know that. Oh, um, I know, do know, though, if you put an egg in water and it floats, it's a bad egg, don't use it. Kind of like Doyle, it's a bad egg. <laughs> okay. Here's your, oh, you didn't know, number three. Oh, you didn't know? Somewhere way up north between Norway and the North Pole is the giant safe. This safe is for one reason. The safe is to hold seeds. So just about every producing crop or, or edible food type producing crop we have, there are seeds stored in this safe up there to save it located between Norway and the North Pole up there somewhere to keep us safe in case something major happens we can go into this safe and get seeds to restart our growing process um, 
So, there you go. You bet you didn't know that. Now, here's a, what we call a defunking. Oh, you didn't know. Because I am about to defunct something people have heard and believed for years. But it's not true. So. Oh, you didn't know? A yawn is because you need oxygen. False. It is actually a cooling system for the brain. When you open your mouth, it rushes air across the blood vessels that feed the brain, and it cools the brain. It's actually the purpose of yawning. So it's not because your brain needs oxygen. It's because you're a hothead. <laughs> I'll just get the um, but no, there's actually a cooling. They did studies in mice and actually found out um, because you know, everybody, everything's a study by mice. And, uh, whatever. Anyhow, but they did test and they, they did studies that um, might, it actually cools your brain when you yawn. It's not a lack of oxygen. It does help with the uh, supply to the brain, but it's not oxygen it's supply and it's cooler blood to cool your brain. So. There you go. Number five. Oh, you didn't know? When you're in the bathtub and your skin wrinkles up, there is a purpose for that. That is not just because you're waterlogged and it's time to get out. It is actually the body basically making a tire tread in your hand or on your foot. It's for traction. It's the body's reaction to the fact that you're in a wet environment and traction may be questionable. So much like the treads on the tire, you get wrinkles in your skin to allow the water a place to flow so you can get better grip. So it is actually a life-saving reason. See, there you go. Another, oh, you didn't know that is a life-saving thing. <laughs> it's actually uh, designed to, to help you to uh, get more grip. So. There you go, folks. We are out in the middle of the country, so there was no red light challenge, but there was five oh you didn't know facts brought to you by Mr. McStash. Because, you know, that's that's my intro. Oh, you didn't know? Not Doyle's intro. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, folks. We appreciate you tuning in to America's favorite video quiz like this give me a big thumbs up it doesn't cost you anything it makes me feel better share this with somebody somebody that thinks they know it all no you didn't know and share it with them love on your family folks you never know how much longer you're going to have them around and they are precious when you get back out there folks keep it rubber side down this is mr mcstash we appreciate you stopping by have a good one we'll see you on the next one. bye bye